First responders from around Monroe County gathered in Ogden today to help contain a chemical spill. It happened at the facility for Rochester Midland Corporation. A 200 gallon container of nitric acid was punctured inside the facility. First responders are still trying to figure out how the container was punctured. Our Haley Higgins spoke with them this morning. She joins us live in Ogden. Haley. Yeah, Brett, I'm standing right at the front of our MC's facility. The spill and most of the first responders were around back. We came over here to make sure that they had the space they needed to work. But it looks like they've wrapped up maybe about 10, 15 minutes ago. I saw the last Spencerport fire truck exit out of here. So things are now under control. Now, first thing you need to know, this was a level one hazmat warning. That means it's relatively minor. So if you live right nearby or if you work in the area, you are safe. And and part of the reason is because RMC employees and first responders worked so quickly to keep this contained. I talked to the Spencerport fire chief earlier today, and he told me the call came in just before 11 for that spill. We don't know exactly how much of those 200 gallons of nitric acid got loose, but the chief said RMC employees worked very fast to keep it controlled. Now, nitric acid won't kill you immediately, but it will leave lasting burns on your skin, lungs, and your eyes. When firefighters got first got here, they evacuated the building and notified RMC it would take several hours to get cleaned up completely. So RMC decided to send everyone home for the day. Employees at the other two buildings nearby were asked to stay indoors, almost like a shelter in place, to avoid any potential fumes that might come downwind. Once firefighters and other departments got here, the focus was on making sure the acid didn't get into the drains and the pipes. It is very uh, hazardous as far as you don't want to get it on your skin. It's used in many different, uh, many different applications. Uh, the business behind us does use it for uh, cleaning chemicals. We have a couple of minor spills before, but not as, not as big as what we see today. And that second person you heard was George Edwards, an employee with RMC who was in the building when the spill happened. He told me that they've had spills like this before, so it was pretty calm as they were evacuating. The one that made this one different and caused all those first responders to arrive was just the sheer volume of liquid. But again, it was pretty calm, pretty slow as people were exiting because things were relatively under control. And RMC employees will be back here first thing tomorrow morning. Live in Ogden, Haley Higgins, News 10, NBC.